What's up, guys? We are live here with Coach Coop, who is kind of our, our movement guru. So today he's going to be going over – oh, I don't know if it just went live or not. Sorry, if this is a redo. What's up, guys? Live from the Vossler Cooper household. Um, Danny, Coach Coop, is going to be going over some different mobility, um, daily self-care things for you today. He's the one you want to talk to if you are having aches and pains that you're not sure of, um, but also more about making sure that we're getting full range of motion so when we go and exercise, we are um, working to our full capacity. So from there, Coach Coop, I'm going to let you take the lead and I'm going to leave the room so I don't talk too much. Thanks. Thanks, Kel. Thanks, Coach Boss. What's up, guys? Okay, if anybody um, paid attention to my posts or the, the one that Kelly did, I told you guys to um, get a dowel. And the good thing about that, this will be on the uh, program so that, whatever. Grab a dowel. This is a broomstick. Grab one that's wooden or PVC. Um, a towel will suffice for some of the movements, okay? We're just using it to create some tension and a band. And then the next time we do this, um, I'd like everybody to have either an active mobility guy or a softball or a lacrosse ball. Okay, so today what we're gonna do, um, this will be your daily routine for uh, self-care for your joints, okay? The thing about the your joints and the connective tissue is very rarely do we get full end range of motion throughout movements and they heal, uh, it takes twice as long for them to heal as it does for a muscle. Um, so what we wanna do is get some good health in there, we'll assist in injury prevention and it will also, um, injury prevention, and um, recovery time, it will increase your recovery time. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is your cars, okay? The um, controlled articular rotation, it's just the best way to get make sure that your joints are getting full range of motion. Okay, and the, before we, be, we begin, um, I'd like to do some breathing with you guys. It's just important, it's good before, um, before you eat, before you start any type of movement, it, it helps get you into that parasympathetic state which is good for rest, recovery. It's good to do before eating as well. So I like to do a uh, crisscross applesauce, is what I like to call it, this seat, sitting right here. But if your back is hunched over, like mine tends to do, you can grab a, a blanket or a pillow or use the back of a couch and help bolster yourself up, okay? So I sit up here, get my back flat, and what I'm just trying to focus on is some good belly breathing. I'm gonna do 10 of those. Just focus on filling up the bottom cavity. Let the chest rise, but just don't lead with the shoulders, okay? Let the shoulders hang where they are. Don't force, just. Think three seconds in, five seconds out. We're gonna go for 10 here. All right, just to speed this up, you guys can do that on your own, all right? And the first thing that we're going to do is the CARS for your wrist. Remember, CARS stands for Controlled Articular Rotation. We're going to lock our elbows, okay? Palms up. We're going to try to make as big of circles as we can. Don't force. Keep this at around 10%, okay? So we'll get into the really slow driving, getting end range of motion, like we're trying to create new tissue length. Right now, we're just trying to move, okay? So we're gonna go five in each direction. Remember, alternate direction, lead with your middle finger, okay? And don't let the wrists turn, okay? So keep palms up. <laughs> Sorry, I can just see a gif 
on the TV if some dude breathing. It's pretty funny. Try to make those circles as big as you can. Clicking and popping is okay. One thing I didn't mention at the beginning, guys, if you're feeling any pinchy or stabby pain, stop and decrease the range of motion. Okay, make smaller circles, all right? We want to work through a pull pain, not a stab, okay? So now your elbow car, same thing, lock in. I, I prefer to do one at a time. It helps me concentrate better, but if you're in a rush, this should only take you about 10 minutes do this in the morning and preferably before you go to bed at night, okay? This guy in, palm up, turn, down. Turn, up, turn, down. Up, turn, down. So alternate the motions, okay? So this time my palm is down. One, one. There. Yeah. Okay, so make sure that I get five in each direction. You can do them both at the same time. Remember, 10%, just moving, not forcing. I don't want any shaky, right? We'll get to that later. And just five. Next, we're going to do shoulder blades, okay? So think of the shoulder leading, okay? So I can get this from the side, you might be able to see it better. Here. And that's one. Two. Nice and slow, controlled. The clicking and popping is good. Okay, don't be alarmed if you're hearing any of that stuff. It's just a little scar tissue we're moving through. Okay. From there, we're going to ankles. Okay. Lock this guy in place. Heel off the ground in a big circle. Clockwise, counterclockwise, okay? Five in each direction. It's easy for me to lose count on this, okay? so. If you ever lose count, do one extra, all right? So if you think like, was that three or four? Do three, all right? We'll count it as three. You're not gonna get hurt from doing these exercises. All right, next is the heel down. And we're just going to windshield wipe that foot back and forth, nice and slow. You'll feel this in tib tuberosity from my science people. Just turn, move back and forth. I don't know if Kel's watching, but come down and keep me company. This is weird for me to just do this in front of a TV screen. I don't like looking at myself. Yeah, it's, it's super weird for me. Anyways, moving on from, so we go from ankle, chin, knee, head, and now we're gonna go to the knee. Lock this guy in a place. Gonna, this is gonna be hard for you to do. All right, it doesn't matter if the leg is not fully extended. So I want to come here, turn, down, turn, extend, turn. You're doing flex, right. Flex, up, 
Okay. The shaking's good. That's good end range of motion. But we're not going to fight for that right now. Okay. We want this around 10%. Yeah, that thing was throwing me off, that guy. How's everybody doing with the sedentary lifestyle? Kind of weird, right? I hope this will help. It definitely will if you've been sitting a lot. Okay. And these workouts you've been doing. All right. Switch sides. Remember, lock in place. You can grab wrist, grab hand. Right? But we want to get this guy turn down and reverse. So that's one. So these are, I call these the unsexy exercises, guys, because nobody likes to do them. You don't get any points or any medals for doing them. But I'll guarantee that most of your elite athletes are doing self-care. It's important that you take care of your joints, your connective tissue, your t tendons and ligaments. Your body will definitely, surely thank you for this, okay? So remember, morning and night, try to do this. Okay, so from there, we're going to do um, a joint that's often forgotten about. We're going to go kneecap, okay? Right? So I want you to, this guy should have some freedom to move around. You'll find that a knee that's giving you a lot of pain or aggravating, that your patella, your kneecap, doesn't move around and glide. All joints should have good 360 range of motion, okay? Do you want to just move this guy around a little bit? Remember, don't force. Just five circles in each direction. And you'll notice different from side to side, probably. You definitely don't want the kneecap being frozen in place because when your knee or this joint is moving around, if this guy's stuck, it's a nice way to get an injury, okay? Or that femoral, patellofemoral pain that you feel. This guy. Five in each direction, okay? Okay. Now quadruped position, okay? On all fours, all right? This is good to... Film yourself when you're doing this so you can see if you're cheating or not, or you could um, put something across your back, the foam roller or something to make sure that you're not um, cheating, right? We don't want any of this action coming. This is all independent joints moving. We're going to do uh, hip circles, okay? So this guy comes up, open, and I want to think about kicking the sky with my heel, bring this guy in and then back, okay? Now everyone's range of motion is gonna look different, so if yours is better or worse, it's okay. It will increase the more that you do this, okay? So what I don't want is this sloppy swinging around in compensation, okay? And if you're feeling any pinches or stabs, just small circles, okay? This is important for our squat, our deadlift, Jumping rope, running, everything. You need some good external and internal rotation in this hip. Remember, the slower the better, but this is just daily self care that we're doing. So think about 10%. We'll get into these slow isometric holds out to the side and such later. This is just something I want you guys to do morning and night. Can't stress that enough. It's also good to teach good hip and back, low back dissociation, so you're not doing this every time you hip hinge.
Okay, I'm not sure if that was five. So we'll do an extra. Okay, quadruped shoulder. This is advanced. Okay, big thumb up. Thumb is always going to be leading. All right, when we're doing this. So, thumb up as high as I can go, out to the side. Once I feel I can't move them back any further, thumb up. I want to bring this guy around here, reverse direction, thumb always leading, okay? Slow, controlled. This will help with overhead squat, pressing overhead, okay? Especially when we're compensating in other areas. Okay, clicking and popping is okay, guys. I don't know if I can stress that before, but that's all right if you're hearing that. But any pinch here, stabby pain, right? You feel a little pinch here, don't go as high. Limit your range of motion to where it feels good. We want this to be a therapeutic pain. Like, just moving slow through molasses, okay? You'll find that this will be very tiring when you're doing this. It's okay. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you or you're weak. Just that these little muscles aren't getting aren't used to working. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. KT, you watching? Okay, now next circles, guys, right? Another neglected joint, okay? And often sitting like this on a computer all day, a TV slouched over, want some good range of motion in this guy. So think that you have a a laser pointer on the top of your head or a unicorn horn and you want to draw a big circle. If you feel any stabs or any pinches, stop smaller circles. Make sure that when you're doing this, the tendency is to keep the mouth open, keep the mouth closed. Okay, big circle. My people out there with pinchy, just small then, okay? Just make sure that the mouth is closed while you're doing this, okay? Okay, last one, arms, okay, thumbs up, behind the head, rotate, and try to get them back behind. This is my favorite one, I have very limited shoulder mobility, because I don't do this often, if you're anything like me, you wait with a, a problem to be major before you do anything about it. But this right here, 
purpose of these exercises is so that we don't get major problems, right? And this prevents from one shoulder doing all the work. If you do the pass through, you know, if you're like me and you go, this shoulder isn't as good, so it's like this, like this, so the other guy doesn't have to work as hard, right? So. Okay, guys, those are your daily cars. You can pause this at any time, rewatch. I think I overkilled it by actually doing five of each um, to show you guys. But the, the goal is to do these, again, morning and night. When you wake up, go to bed, or before you work out, and at the end of the night, at least try to get one in a day. It should only take you about 10 minutes to do, all right? Now we'll get into some active stretching that I think everybody should be doing every day, okay? These are the things that helped me after I ruptured two discs in my back and herniated another one. This exact form of um, active stretch that I did helped tremendously, all right? So what we're trying to do here, what I mean by active stretching is that we're not just like camping out here or sitting on our joints and I actually want to turn on or ramp up the intensity, okay? These isometric holes or this loading that we're going to do, we want 20, 40, 60, 80, and then slowly ramp down. We want about 30 seconds, so think six breaths. So a three-second breath in and a five-second exhale. It can be kind of hard to keep track of on your own, but the first one is going to be a 90-90 sit, okay? Think heel in line with this back shin, okay? 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle there, right? Now, some people will get into this and it will be easy for them to sit here and they'll just collapse over. That's not what I want, okay? I want you to think you're leading with your chest, create a nice arch in that back, right? Being pulled from the spine tall. You want to glue yourself to the floor. Now, when I ramp up the intensity for this exercise, or this stretch, I want to think about pressing this shin, this lead shin, down and back, okay? You should feel it here, okay? And that back is arched, right? And I'll have a slouched back right here. Pull in and turn on, ramp up the intensity slowly, 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, this can be done hands free if you're at an expert level of this or where this is very easy for you. Come out the door. Oh, no, sorry. But hands down to the side, split the floor apart, okay? And from here it's 30 seconds. I'm not going to do the full 30 for sake of you guys watching this later and doing it, but just this is the position here. And two, three, five. Okay, ramping up the whole time. Feel any knee pain? Lift this guy up or bolster this guy here, all right? So that's external rotation on this front leg. Now internal rotation here. The goal is to be able to grab this shin here Right? If you can't do that, grab here, other hand here, and I'm pressing this knee down and pulling the leg towards me. Okay? You should be feeling this here, this internal rotation of your femur, okay? That we're working on. So grab, grab, turn the intensity up slowly, 20, 40, 60, 80. Hold 30 seconds, okay? And breathe. It's important once you get to that 
around that fifth, sixth breath, that you ramp down slowly. Don't just stop, okay? So I'm here. I'm driving in, pulling towards, and then I slowly release, okay? This guy here, up, over, here, and switch sides, okay? Remember, tall, back arched, leading with my chest, okay? And I don't want to flatten here. Here, split the floor apart, knee down, pull in. I often use this hand as a cue so that I know that I'm really actually driving into the ground, okay? And pulling back, you should feel this here in your butt, okay, your glute. Three seconds in. If you feel this in the back leg, it's good if you do, all right? You wanna to stick to the floor. Imagine that if somebody came and tried to pick you up, it would be difficult that you could put up a fight. Okay, and then the other side, right, tall. If you can't grab the shin, grab ankle, grab hip, pull yourself back and down. Pull this leg into you, okay, drive it through the floor. And remember, 30 seconds of this position, three second breath in, five second breath out. Okay, the next guys, this is what you need the band for. You can be done with the towel. Okay, leg lowers. We're gonna do six on each side. So if you do the three second breath in, five second breath out, that should be 30 seconds. I want 30 seconds of work on each leg. Okay, <clears throat> drive the low back into the ground here. And I want my leg that's being held into position with the towel or my band, okay, right around the ball of the foot, this guy's straight, wherever straight is for you, here or here, all right, what I don't want is this, okay, so we're working on this hamstring, lengthening here, this whole back line, right behind your knee, your calf, all right, chin tucked, if this is uncomfortable, bolster the head, okay, and I'm going to lower this other leg down, while I'm lowering this leg, I'm gonna exhale, and then inhale, one, two, three, up. What I don't want is your bum coming off the ground, okay? So drive that guy into the ground, pull. If there was one stretch for you to do, for any adult to do, it would be this one, right, okay? So from sitting, our hip flexors get shortened, okay? Short is just a state of being, all right? They get just tight, all right? So I want nice length there. This is good for creating internal abdominal pressure, taking pressure off my little back, okay? Helping create nice posture. I think we're blowing the leg down. The second the heel taps, right back up. And challenge yourself, okay? Try to push the limit a little bit, okay? Pulling this guy towards without your bum coming off the ground. So drive that butt down, okay? Stomach nice and tight. Okay, and then switch sides. Okay, push the heel towards the ceiling, curl the toes back, okay? Nice straight legs. Tight. If this is very easy for you guys, you can do it without, okay? But what we want is a full 90 degree angle. If you can't keep that 90 degree angle, that's what the band is for to help get you there, okay? So push into the band as you're pulling down, okay? Help activate 
Keep the heel straight towards the ceiling. Curl the toes back. Okay. Make sure you do 30 seconds of work there. Guys, next, T-spine rotation. Best thing for any athlete, okay, with rotational power, tennis players, golfers, okay, you're going to need this, all right? T-spine rotation, okay? Down, on the ground, all right? Flat. We lock our butt into place so we don't get rotation to the lumbar spine. And I want you here, you're going to want to come up there and cheat, okay? Resist that. Think about pulling yourself down towards your heels with your butt, okay? The first way to do this, okay? Here. Hand on the back, on the low back, driving this other hand in place, okay, to lock my shoulders in, okay? Straight. Breath in, and I'm gonna rotate leading with my scat, okay? You should be feeling this all here, all right? I'm gonna do six breaths here, so 30 seconds. Each time I'm trying to create more motion, okay? For deeper and deeper. It helps to lead with the eyes. Okay? And you do the same on the other side. 30 seconds, so six breaths, three seconds in. Okay, we're speeding this up now because it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. But you do that for 30 seconds. You can pause this tape. All right. The second part of the rotation. Here, same thing. Lock myself into place. Good solid pressure. I'm going to reach up and grab as far as I can here. Okay. Drop my elbow down. And then when I'm driving, the same thing. I want to pull and rotate. Okay, same thing, six breaths, so 30 seconds on each side, All right? Same thing with my right. Okay, what I don't want is you guys doing this, all right? All right? New end range every time. Make sure that you're locking this hand in place, okay? So you get a nice big pull. Okay. Six breaths there. Last one is the most common that you'll see. I'm not a big fan of it because often you'll see this and the head pressed in hard, right? With the chin pushed down, okay? So keep a nice neutral spine. Fingers just resting easy on the head here. And follow with your nose that elbow, okay? Something I might not have addressed is when I'm breathing, the area that I'm trying to stretch, I'm trying to imagine that that's the area that I'm filling with breath, okay? So when I'm stuck here, I want to fill up this cavity with air. Any of my yogis out there that are watching this or that watch this later will, will agree that that's the area, if you're trying to get a good stretch, you want to fill that, that cavity or that joint up with air. Focus on that. Feel the stretch. Stay active. Don't just camp up. Okay? After the T-spine rotation, we got alternating Spider-Man's. Another one, guys. It's great. Think about what we're doing with our knee. It's great for our hamstring. It's great for the hip flexor. Okay? So this is our Spider-Man position here. Right? Nice long, I keep the knee down on the ground to take a little bit of pressure off that anterior hip capsule, okay? So I'm not here and popping through my low back, right? So when I stay active, driving this knee into the ground, okay? 
this guy here, knee pointed out over pinky toe, okay? And I'm gonna grab here, ramp up the intensity, 20, 30, 40, 80, and hold for 30 seconds, okay? After the 30 seconds there, the good six breaths, walk the elbow in, and I'm gonna try to drive the knee in here, and then ramp up the intensity, 20, 40, 60, 80. Really driving down, right? Keep this guy tight, flexed, driving this guy in here, all right? This is where we're trying to create new tissue length, okay, guys? So these isometric holds, these isometric loading, the self-limiting exercises, they're unbelievable for your joints, okay? So the same thing here, hook on, right? Tight. Flex that gluten back, pulling my uh, heel towards me, all right, so that my hamstring's turned on. You'll feel the actual, what the job of the hamstring is, okay? It's also an adductor, an adductor, so we here, pull this guy in. You should feel this in through your groin in the back of your butt. Okay, and the same here. Ramp up the intensity and make sure that we ramp down nice and easy, okay? So 30 seconds there. Bear rocks, okay, guys? Great for all joints to be working at once, okay? So I'm gonna come up about a few inches off the ground. I'm gonna come forward, I start in my quadruped position, get off the ground, I'm gonna come forward as far as I can, okay? Good for my wrists, okay? And then I'm gonna rock back, pulling myself towards my heels, okay? I wanna pull my heels towards my butt and sink back. And then rock forward, nice and slow. And we're gonna do this for 10. I'll do this with you guys. You'll find that this is a lot harder than it looks. Think about pulling your toes towards your shin and your heel towards your butt when you're doing this, okay guys? All right, I'm gonna keep going on the other exercise that I want. Try to get that for 10 guys, all right? I really wanted to show you guys these exercises. That's what the dial is for, right? So we're gonna do some isometric loading here, okay? Let me move this guy back. And you can pause this anytime when you're re-watching, because I don't think anybody's watching right now. I can't tell. All right, so here, we're gonna lock into place, okay? So get this dowel, all right, in your elbows. And what I want is pressure here like Bruce Lee, getting ready to take a shot in the stomach, all right? Feet nice and wide. And I'm gonna rotate, staying flexed. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want this knee to cave in, okay? I want my hips forward, and I'm gonna rotate as far as I can, all right? Remember not to arch the back, okay? So if I start arching, reset, here. Stay tight, ready to take that shot. Rotate, slow, controlled. All right, and hold. With each exhale, you should be able to get further and further. Just make sure, all right, that you keep this internal abdominal pressure. This is what I was talking about in that other video with forced coupling, okay? So me, I don't keep this tension, right? Kelsey always give me crap about him not having a strong midline and I don't like it because it's true, all right? It's often what I find that the insults that I take most offense to are the ones that are actually true. <laughs> so when she says, you have a crummy midline, I get 
I get all bummed out, but my low back really feels it, okay? So here. Hold. Okay. So this is your controlled rotation here, right? We want to learn how to move slow. All these movements that we're doing are basically come from martial arts, you know, thousands of years of practice that people put into seminars. You pay hundreds of dollars to go and get certified by them, but it's really just moving the way that your body is designed to, all right? We learn to move slow and then we move fast, okay? So when you start to break down and get tired, that your body remembers these positions, okay? So if you just start out right away, flailing around, it's not gonna be good. That's when you get the sore back, okay? Oh, Bill, nice, you're watching, man. This is your broomstick. All right, it was like this when I got it. <laughs> there was nothing on there, I didn't unscrew it. Okay, so that one, okay, so the rotation, okay. Hip hinge, okay, a reverse deadlift, okay. So deadlift is here, all right. What I wanna do is get these feet, right, where I feel comfortable, right. You wanna find out where your deadlift or squat Feels most comfortable for you, real easy. Just squeeze your butt cheeks together and start rotating your feet. You'll find, okay, this feels a little too wide. All right, walk them in, my butt squeeze, okay? Nice and tall. This feels a good comfortable position for me, okay? All right, so I'm gonna screw the knees out, right? Grab onto this guy, create pressure, right? All movement, this is how I prescribe, this is how I've been taught. All movement should come from spinal flexion at first. I don't mean here, I just mean tight. Okay, turn on, ramp up intensity, and I'm just gonna sit my butt back, okay? Keeping this tension anterior, that's what this dial is for. Drive it through the ground, okay? You put this here, so I'm not wrecking Bill and Kim's carpet. I'm not looking to get beat up anytime soon, okay? Okay, so we're not uh, shaking, but 80%, you know, slow ramp up, 30 seconds. You should be feeling this in all sorts of places that you don't normally feel when you deadlift, maybe in your feet, maybe in your shins, hopefully here in your butt, definitely not in your low back, okay? So 30 seconds there, okay? What's the next one I got? Oh. Tall back bend, yeah. Lunge rotation. Okay, so this is gonna look like your warrior pose for my yogi people out there, all right? So I wanna get in a nice lunge position, right? If I can't keep this foot flat, right, in my lunge, it's okay to turn a little bit. But what I'm focusing on here is this knee Opening up, okay, here, get my dial back in a position, okay? If this doesn't feel comfortable, get them down on your hip here, okay? I like to lock it in here. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. Oh, you got it, Alexa. All right, here, elbows in, tight, stay strong, and I'm gonna rotate, close, Driving this knee out, pulling my back leg form forward. Okay, and I'm gonna get into this lunge. And hold, ramp up. Thirty second hold, guys. Remember, nice long spine. Okay, I have a tendency to look like a Pez dispenser. I want to do this, all right? That becomes our position of power. I want to be this position of power, locked in. Okay, come up. Do this from the side so you can see, 
right? Tight, lunge in, and then now I'm gonna open. Making sure that this knee is driving out over my pinky toe. I should be able to see my big toe, right? Those other three piggies, right? Maybe even the fourth guy peeking up. I don't want this knee turning. I want this nice position of power here, right? This is good for your squat. Okay, 30 seconds there. And then, of course, other side, okay? So again, in my nice lunge position here. Tension, okay? It's good that I have this screen in front of me, right? I want my torso to almost mirror my back leg and my front shin. Keep these guys parallel. I think this is, is this warrior? I don't know. I've done a couple of yoga classes and, and I'm just not good at it. Probably should practice one. Okay, so here, remember I want to go close first. Feel this. Right? Back butt cheek should be flexed, pulling my heel, my front heel towards me, pulling my back leg towards me as well as I rotate. Now I'm starting to shake right here. I'm taxing the central nervous system. This is actually the desired effect that we're looking for here. This is how you change tissue length. The central nervous system will remember this position that way. Because it's not an, a high external load, the tendency is for my body to remember this posture and remember that it's a good one and that it wants to get into it again. Okay? That's the great thing about yoga. Okay? So here. Stay tight. Don't forget. Knee open. 30 second hold. Six breaths. Three second inhale. Five second exhale, okay? Okay. Next is gonna be our chop. All right, PVC pipe, this is what your towel or blanket is for. You put this in the ground. Okay, get your dowel, your stick, and chopping motion, okay? Remember my position, knees out, okay? Butt back slightly, pressure, okay? And I'm thinking about, like I'm paddling a canoe, all right? Or my chop, get into my good position. It's good to do this in a class or with, a, with someone else with you that they can help Point out spots if you arch too much or you curl too much, right? You want to have a set back, right? Your, your power position here and think 20, 40, 60, 80, okay? And it's okay if these positions, some of them you don't feel strong in. Remember, you want to be good at everything, not just great at one or two things, okay? Like my buddy always says, specialization is for insects, okay? Humans need to know how to do all these different movements. You need to know how to chop wood. You need to know how to canoe. Okay, you're gonna do the same on the other side. So here, hinge back, screw my feet into the floor, sit my butt back, create internal pressure, interior pressure. With the, with the dowel, press this guy in. 20, 40, 60, 80, and hold. We want to be able to keep this intensity and still be able to breathe. Okay, so this will be the same thing. Six breaths, okay? Ramp up, 
ramp down, okay? Last thing that we're gonna do, I know that I went, well, okay, almost an hour, okay, this is good. Okay, I like to do most of my stuff in the Caesar, this position here, because I have horrible ankle mobility, okay? You know, I want some good toe stuff, okay? So I do this, I can't really fully sit on my heels either, because my quads are so jacked, no. They're just tight, right? I don't do this often. So sit back, sit your bum back, okay? Shoulders down, okay? Elbows tucked in, okay? Palm up, pull apart, okay? Same thing, ramp up the intensity, right? So here, two, four, six, eight, and now I hold and I'm in the fight, okay? Keep that pressure in the stomach. Okay. And now I slowly ramp down, okay? Allow my muscles to relax. Remember that this is a good position for them, okay? So then what we're working on here is our external rotation in our shoulders, okay? So we're looking for good rotation, good strength, okay? Rotator cuff action here. Okay, now palms down, same thing. Don't let these guys flare out. They're gonna, you're gonna wanna do that and show yourself how strong you are, all right? Here, fight. Dig the elbows in, okay? Remember, I would rather two good reps of something than 20 shitty ones, okay? So fight for every centimeter, millimeter of tissue length that you're getting. See him cheating, bring that elbow out to the side. Okay, and then ramp down slow. Okay, those are your one, two, three, four, five, six exercises. You do that circuit three times through if you're isometric holds. Do your cars morning and night preferably. Remember your breathing before you eat would be ideal. It's great for digestion, okay? And your, your active stretching, a good way to warm up or warm down after a workout. Um, guys, I hope that this helps. I know that it will. Um, before that you do these, these exercises, it's good to, to check in with your body and see where you're, you're at, and then check my mobility afterwards. Wow, I do feel my range of motion is increased, okay? I don't feel that one particular muscle group is doing more of the work, or that my, the front of my delt is doing all the work. I'm actually getting some scap action in this, okay? So it's important. I guarantee you guys that this will help you if you do them. Okay, but it's like anything else, the more you work at it, the better you're going to get. Um, like I said, if I'm open for some feedback big time, all right, that's the way that we all get better. So if there's anything that you guys didn't like or that you did like, if you didn't like it, blame Kelly. If you did like it, it's all me. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, yeah, let us know if there's anything that you'd like to address. Um, that's what this acting mobility is for. This guy, I'll do some um, releases. I'll because I'm not working either now, so, and I know a lot of us are looking for other things to do, and it's really difficult to get on these, these live things together, but if you just make the time for yourself, your body will thank you, and when you come back, when we get through this, and we all get together again, and we start working out, I will guarantee you, your numbers will go through the roof if your joints and your tendons and your connective tissue is strong, okay? You'll be, you'll be blown away by the results, okay, guys? I hope that this helps again, and um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys when I see you, man. Keep the faith, and we're going to persevere. Right, Murph? We have no other choice. Love you guys. Bye. I don't know how to end. KT, if you're watching. There, enter? Oh, end live. There it is. I just wanted her to hear, see if she was watching. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> what?
the, the beginning goes kind of sucked, right? Because you had to just do all that shit slow. It was. I don't know what it says to, to delete. Is it still going? I can still see myself. I think it's still going. End live video. If you end this video now. Oh.